Hello, 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 everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Wherever you're at in this world, I bid you fair uh, health and love and kindness. Appreciate everybody supporting me while I've been sick. I'm feeling a lot better now. Started cleaning up my shop. I've got a lot of cleaning uh, done. Uh, but it's coming along pretty good. As you can see, I'm putting down some flooring. Uh, it's a non-stick surface. I'm going to be putting it down in a square. But I've cleaned up a whole lot. You can actually see the yellow in the floor. And that's not dirt. That's stained from that wood. Anyway, I've got a lot of the dust and dirt up. As you can see, I've been working on it pretty good. So, Anyway, I just wanted to get on here this morning and uh, recognize a couple people that have been gracious enough to send me a few things. And let everybody know I'm still kicking, enjoying my coffee this morning. Mm. Anyway... I got a little letter in the mail from a good friend of ours and dear friend of mine, Jay Ferris and family. Hello, Johnny. Hope this raker gauge helps you out, buddy. Have an awesome day. You know what? It, it's not a long letter, and, it, and it's not a 800-pound package, but I'm going to tell you what. Old Jay Ferris knew I needed a record gauge, and I'm not a timber faller of the big timber out, e out west and east and north or wherever. But you know, a good record gauge is hard to find, and he sent me a nice one. And that's really going to help me out. I think Kenny sent me one. Yeah, Kenny sent me one too. It's a little different style, but they'll both work. Jay Ferris, I can't thank you enough, my friend. I cannot thank you enough. It's got the soft wood and the hard wood on it. It's going to work out just fine. Now that we got some fellers up square grinding on a grinder, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a game changer. Thank you, Mr. Ferris. I appreciate you. And another fella sent me another gift kind fella. His name's Chippy. Y'all go check out Jay and Chippy's channels. But that cat bird done went and sent me a brand It says J.A. Ways, John Arnett's Ways established 2005. And I'm going to tell you, it's, it's a really nice brand and I can't thank him enough. I've always wanted one to brand my axe handles and my wood and my and my leather as you can see it it brands leather really well and it does axe handles really really nice and i can't thank him two fellers enough i just have to learn how to use it that's all but uh if i ever have another axe and it don't have another man's name on it i'll be a putting that on there so i just want to say thank you chippy you're a good fella and i don't know what we would do without you You've helped out a lot of people in this community. And I can't thank you enough. Y'all realize that this stuff is not cheap. To have somebody put this in a CNC machine and mill this out of brass or or, or steel or, or uh, just whatever material that you want or they think needs to be made out of, this stuff's not cheap. Uh, it's quality stuff. And it, uh, we don't have many places like this around here that'll do this for us. We have to basically uh, call around, uh, maybe go down south to Charlotte or out east to Raleigh-Durham, maybe. We just don't have a lot of companies around here that are willing to do an individual project. They'll want you to do a hundred of them. But as far as getting one done, it's dang near impossible. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. It stamps and brands really well. I'll uh, 
be a using this thing quite a bit on my leather work. I may implement that on the community knife sheaths when I get around to them, which won't be long. I'm firing up the forge tomorrow, so I have some videos coming out on that. Anyway, another thing, set this record gauge out of the way. While I got everybody here, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I picked up this. This, my friends, uh, is going to save me in my lungs until I can get my ventilation and dust collection system in. It, uh, it's going to do the trick. These filters are not cheap, and this mask isn't either, but I believe my lungs are worth it. It's a type P100 high efficiency filter. It's MSA approved. Uh, it don't get much better than that. They're screw in filters. I think six filters is $120. But it's got the full face shield. It's got brand new diaphragms and everything inside of it. It seals really well. Uh, I can't ask for a better mask. I can completely take it apart with a couple screws, take the face out of it. It's got a good anti-scratch uh, lens in it. Awesome. But I had to do that, so I just wanted to show everybody that mask. Now I just have to keep it clean because that's the key to its longevity and its proper uh, usage. These masks only work as good as you keep them. So I must keep it clean. But I'll use that thing for grinding wood and metal and shaving and sanding and cutting and whatnot. So we'll lay that right there. All right. It has a Palooza jar. I've been throwing all my loose change in there. It might not be much when I get ready to use it, but... I encourage everybody to start them a fund if they're going to Tazapalooza. Uh, this day's economy and the way things cost fuel and all, you might want to consider it. If you're like me, you like to put stuff off to the last minute sometimes, and that's not what we need to do. We need to plan. So let's get to the let's get to the getting. And I've got five of these knives ready to go into the forge. When they come out of the forge, they'll be heat treated. I'll draw them back in the furnace, or the, the oven, excuse me. We'll get them, draw back, get the temper right in them. You put the handles on them, get the sheets made, them, made for them, and they're gone. First five. So I'm gonna today, while I'm here, I'm gonna draw, draw the five name five the the next six next five names excuse me i can't talk this morning we'll go ahead and get them five names drawn out so that'd be 10 total so without further ado i've shook this thing and shook this thing we're going to reach in here and get five more names and this being number six is number 86. Let's see who that is. Gainsey. Buck and Son is number six. Uh, sure that young fellow will enjoy this. Gainsey's awesome. Number six. Sweet. Let's reach in here and get another name. All right, here's one. Oh, that's two. Number 27 will be number seven. You know, this, this is working out pretty good. 27. Novice Lumberjack is number seven. Number seven. Awesome. I know he'll appreciate a good knife. Let's draw out number eight. 
Let's see who we got here. They're all over the board. I love it. Number 78. Let's see who number 78 is. Number 78 is Hot Box Pizza Truck. And that will be number 8. Yes, it will. Hot Box Pizza Truck, number eight. Awesome. Let's draw out number nine. Stir this up a little bit. I can't play favorites here. Y'all know this. And I just draw them at random. Number 83. Dave. Strickland. All right, Mr. Strickland. You, sir, are number nine. Awesome. There's a lot coming off that page right there. And the last one for this week. We stir them up really good here. There's one right there. Number 10. Let's see who number 10 is. Number 29, if I read that correct, and I do, and it's McDaniel Sauls. Awesome. There you go. There's number 10 right there. All right. There's the next five. So now we got 10 knives out there, and everybody knows who they are. I'll uh, post them on my community page. And uh, we'll get them five roughed out. And uh, we'll get them things up and made. Now, I'm, I'm, I've got a forge in the driveway, so my building ain't ready. It's no problem. I'll just set stuff up outside and, and forge out there. I get my forge fired up tomorrow. I'm going to have a video. I'm going to throw a couple railroad spikes in there. And we're going to make a couple railroad spike knives just to knock the rust off. And I can heat treat them knives doing that, doing that too. But I'll get, get the rust knocked off. I'll be sore for a couple of days, but that's part of it. <laughs> and I'll uh, make a video of it, of a, one of them. And y'all can come along with me and I'll show you how I forge a railroad spike knife. It ought to be interesting. I've got to do a little setup. Uh, get a couple knives ready. I've got those five, and I've got a couple more. I'm going to heat treat with them. I don't like to fire it up unless i got plenty of steel I'm going to work with. So, I've got buckets of railroad spike knives, and we'll have a good time. So until then, just wanted to share this with everybody and these kind gifts. Everybody be safe. Everybody have a great week. I know it's uh, Tuesday. It's my Saturday, so I'm enjoying my next couple of days off right here in this shop and right out there at that forge. So until then, y'all be safe. I love you. God bless you. Watch Top Knot.